Basic shaft removal of a steel or graphite shaft from an iron or metal wood is a relatively easy procedure. There are details to performing this service that every technician should know in order to ensure safety and provide the best possible quality and service to customers. Be sure to wear safety glasses and a shop apron and follow all appropriate safety procedures when performing shaft removal. If the club has a ferrule, the ferrule must be removed. To remove the ferrule, place the club in a vise using a rubber shaft clamp to protect the shaft. Position the club with the toe down and the ferrule approximately 4 to 6 inches from the vise. It is recommended to heat the ferrule for a few seconds with a heat gun before removing. This softens the ferrule material and makes it much easier to remove. After warming the ferrule, remove the ferrule using the super knife. With the leading edge of the knife positioned at the top of the ferrule and at a slight angle, push the blade towards the top of the hosel. The softened ferrule should cut easily. After cutting, remove the remaining portion of the ferrule by hand. After the ferrule is removed, remove the club from the vise. Set up the shaft extractor for use by securing in a vise. Before placing the club into the extractor, be sure the main pulling block is as close to the base or center of the puller as possible. Keeping the pads and clamp area clean is critical to how the graphite shaft extractor will perform. Use alcohol or naphtha to clean the pad surfaces. A clean, tacky pad surface is essential to the shaft staying secure in the vise during the extraction operation. Place the club into the extractor, making sure there is a half inch distance between the top of the hosel and the main push block. This allows ample space to place the steel adapter plate into position. With the club in position, tighten the top clamp piece over the shaft. Tighten the clamp until snug. Do not over tighten. Over tightening the clamp can cause damage to the shaft. Place the steel adapter plate over the shaft between the hosel and the main push block. Make sure the adapter plate is snug between the pull bar and the hosel. Using the ratchet provided, tighten the large hex head bolt until the main push block is snug against the steel adapter plate and hosel. Using a heat gun on a high setting, heat the hosel area. It is recommended that the heat be applied to the back of the hosel with the heat gun approximately three to four inches away from the hosel. Heat the back of the hosel for 60 to 90 seconds. After the first application of heat is applied, turn the ratchet a half turn. If the epoxy bond is broken and it is apparent the head is loose, hold the head with your gloved hand and continue to apply pressure by turning the ratchet until the head is completely off. Do not twist and pull the head off of a graphite shaft. This will cause damage to the shaft. If the head is not loose, heat the hosel again for 30 seconds. After the second application of heat, repeat the process of turning the ratchet to remove the head. If the head does not come loose after another 90 seconds, heated in three 30 second intervals, stop heating. Wait for one minute, then start the heating process again. This process will minimize the possibility of damaging the finish. Heating the hosel is the most important part of the extraction process. No shaft extractor, will remove the shaft without first breaking the epoxy bond with heat. There are many types of epoxies used in the assembly of golf clubs, all of which can have different breakdown temperatures. After the head is removed, remove the shaft adapter plate from the shaft with your gloved hand. The adapter plate can retain heat from the heating process. Next, remove the shaft from the shaft extractor. Once the head is removed and while the hosel is still warm from the heating, clean the inside of the hosel using a wire hosel cleaning brush or hosel honing tool. To complete the preparation for reshafting, after the head is cooled, it is recommended the hosel be cleaned using cotton swabs stampened with acetone. After swabbing out the hosel, set the club head aside to dry for a few minutes. Once the hosel is dry, the head is ready for reshafting. Patience is the key to successfully removing graphite shafts. The most common errors are applying too much heat too fast and twisting the head off of graphite shafts. 
If the extractor is used to remove steel shafts, the same procedures apply with the exception of twisting the head off of the shaft. You may use a twisting motion to remove a head from a steel shaft once the epoxy bond is broken. Make sure all cleaning solvents are removed from the area before any heating operation is performed. Wear eye protection at all times when extracting shafts. Avoid contact with heated club heads and machine parts during club head removal. Excessive force on the ratchet during the removal process may result in damage to the extractor and injury to the operator.